Hi, welcome to DVCOM Technology. My name is Seshu and I am part of DVCOM support and training team. And today I am going to show it to you how to do the configuration of Traytech Vigor 2866AX router. And let's go and see what are the topics that I am going to cover for today. The first one is that hard reset. Second one is soft reset. So hard reset is nothing but it's always be careful guys while you are going to do the reset make sure that whether you have a proper backup or not in case if you don't have a backup please be aware of it because you are going to lose all the configurations and the device will go to factory reset then you are not going to get any configurations back so it's always recommends that before you are going to do the hard reset let's check whether you have a backup or not then after that you can proceed for it so mostly why we are going to do the hard reset so hard reset whenever you are not able to access the device and you forget the password and you don't have a choice how to retrieve it back that time you are going to do the hard reset so here i just want to show it to you something guys if you want to do a hard reset you can see here just take a paper clip and you can see there is a factory reset button over there and hold the paper clip don't force it very you know very harshly guys it means very hard i can say that <laughs> okay don't force it so simply take the paper clip very gently you can press for 5 to 10 seconds all right then after that this active light it will start blinking quickly guys fast then whenever it is start quickly then you can release that once you release that then automatically the device will go to factory reset okay guys it will go to factory reset then the device will come back like a brand new device so once it's come back as you know that the default ip address is 192.168.1.1 and the default username is admin and the default password is admin which means you lost all the configurations congratulations so that you can start doing from starting onwards it's like a brand new device okay guys so this is very important and one more thing is that sometimes we may get some of the things guys like you know some people they are getting confused so let's go and access the dretech router first okay now i'm trying to access my dretech router the username is admin the password is admin okay and here you can see sometimes you may want to reboot the router due to some reasons okay maybe you want to erase the cache or you want to erase some you know arp request or arp uh, entries maybe you want to do something and you want to reboot it you suspected that something is wrong let's go and reboot it that time you can just go to the system maintenance then you can see there is a reboot system instead of selecting this if you select this finish all the configurations will go then after that the router is going to reboot with the factory default okay guys so this is what i am trying to show it to you now now you can see here i have done couple of things in my previous videos right lot of things i did the configurations right but now my plan of action is that i just want to do the factory reset okay guys so simply what you are going to do to do the factory reset but i don't want to do it guys because i still i want to do some of the labs that's why i don't want to do it so what i'm trying to show it here just go to the reboot system then click on the using factory default configuration so before i'm going to do that let's take the backup so that i want to show you this lab okay let's click the backup so this is actually see guys which means std bracket it showing one means already there is one more configuration file is there yeah that is the reason it showing okay guys so maybe i am going to delete this because i don't want this okay now this is my main backup file okay guys because what is my plan of action i want to show it to you how i am going to restore it okay now what is your plan of action then you can just you took the backup then after that you can go to the reboot system then after that select this so this is like a soft reboot guys so that once you do the soft reset then automatically what will happen it erases the, all the configuration means you no need to take the paper clip and you no need to do the hard reset and all simply you are doing a soft reset so soft reset means select using factory default configuration for that what you have to do come to the system maintenance then after that go to reboot system then select using factory default configuration then click reboot now 
now you can see here what's going to happen so the this system is going to get reboot then after that it will go to brand new okay guys see immediately it's saying that you can access the router by using 192.168.1.1 okay but keep in your mind let's go and check whether my router is connected properly or not that's very important guys yeah yes it's connected guys it's connected on port number 2 okay no problem so meanwhile what i will do i just open the command prompt oh i didn't have then let's check that ping 192.168.1.1 so you just wait now once the router is come back it's properly if it is rebooted properly then i can able to see the reply in case it doesn't happen nothing to worry guys then you can just disconnect the cable and connect it back again but i am sure that you are going to see the reply now so just wait now i am not doing anything guys i just want to see even i am very eager to see this yeah so just wait now what's going to happen as i told you before port number 1 2 3 or 4 and 5 is dedicatedly they kept for the lan okay now i can connect my pc any one of this port either i can connect on port number 1 or port number 2 or port number 3 or port number 4 or port number 5 it doesn't matter okay guys i can connect anything so still i am not able to see okay let's wait now okay i just i forgot one more thing guys i think i have disabled my lan port you remember that in my previous lab let's go and check it these are the things you need to can see it's disabled so let's go and uh, disable my wi-fi first then after that i'm going to enable this okay let's check then you can get a reply guys see here the transmission error also came because there is no communicated network port is there see i got it now simply i can go here type 192.168.1.1 all right so this is what how you are going to do the soft reset or this is what how you can do it the hard reset guys okay so in case if you have any concerns which is related to the sales you can please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing